Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, today in this video, we are talking about Alamo Lake, some fun facts about it, and everything you need to know about camping here. Alamo Lake is located northwest of Wendon, Arizona, about 38 miles. It is absolutely out in the middle of nowhere, and it's about an hour and a half to two hours from any sort of modern amenities. So the Alamo Lake population is four. Four people, y'all, because this is a man-made lake, like I said, out in the middle of nowhere. Now, there is Alamo Lake State Park, as well as a small uh, restaurant and RV park nearby, but you are literally 45 minutes from any gas station or convenience store. So, and the fuel at those gas stations is about a dollar more per gallon. So if you are coming to Alamo Lake, it is absolutely imperative that you are prepared for boondocking, unless you are going to the state park where they do have hookups. So you need to come prepared with fuel, uh, with your laundry done, with the ability to shower, with plenty of food and water, because there is absolutely nothing close by. But with that comes incredible views, great fishing, and a tremendous lake to kayak at. So the depth of the lake is about 80 feet generally. Oh, there's a fly. Um, and it's rather small considering for a lake, but it is beautiful and there is plenty of space for people to camp and enjoy. It's abundant with wildlife and flowers and I do highly recommend camping here. So without further ado, we are going to talk more about the lake, what there is to do, and how you can enjoy camping in this spot. To get into the Alamo Lake area, you will have to traverse about 80 miles or so of a two-lane road and then several miles of a primitive road coming in. Uh, it is a wide dirt road, but it is very, very rocky and you have to be on that road for eight miles. So when you are coming in, make sure that you have good tires or a spare because it is absolutely a long trek. It kind of seems longer than it is uh, on the primitive road. As you may have noticed from me uploading videos at Alamo Lake, the cell service is decent. I have Verizon and typically I have about three bars. It's not 5G, it is LTE, but it is decent enough to watch my Netflix, my Discovery Plus, uh, you know, watch my shows, watch YouTube. It takes a little while to upload videos, but it is absolutely doable with Verizon. The tide has risen a lot. <clears throat> this used to be a road that you could go down. Not anymore, because the tide has risen. <clears throat> Some fishermen out this morning. Also, we burned some uh, paper and cardboard in this fire pit <laughs> the other day, and there was a good 20 feet of shore behind it. Now the tide's about to almost take it out. It's risen about another three feet since yesterday. These bushes right here were not underwater the other day. Pretty crazy. So here's where the road came through and the water's risen up on it now. It's half gone. <laughs> Alamo Lake is actually a uh, lake that was created by the Army Corps of Engineers. And the point of Alamo Lake is to stop the sediment coming down from King Kingman uh, from going into Lake Havasu. So the lake actually serves a massive purpose. And over there in the distance, you can actually see a dam. So water comes down from the north. This lake catches the sediment before it hits Lake Havasu. And um, Arizona Game and Fish actually 
protect the wildlife around here and the Bureau of Land Management controls and protects the land itself. Right now we're standing on Angel Point and across the way is Alamo Lake State Park. It is fairly popular for big rigs and people with boats because there is an official boat ramp there. And it does have amenities for campers. Now the Alamo Lake BLM area where we are camped is a 14 day camping limit. Unfortunately, it looks like some people overstay their welcome and I'm not sure how well it is patrolled, especially because this area is literally out in the middle of nowhere. But the good thing is people really, um, you know, pack it out when it comes to trash and the lake itself seems pretty well maintained. One thing that I've noticed is that when there are smaller lakes like this that aren't near big cities and aren't well populated, people kind of care about the land a little bit more. So people are much better at picking up their trash and dumping it in appropriate locations. Alamo Lake is home to bass, catfish, and carpy, as well as wild burrows, and there have even been some beaver sightings. These pretty purple flowers that you see over here, these are Arizona lupines. They're absolutely gorgeous right now for springtime. The vegetation is really pretty, and there are lots of birds and ducks. Nothing too crazy. But it is beautiful and abundant. If you do decide to make the journey out to Alamo Lake, don't forget your levelers. There is not a level spot in sight, at least on the lake, if you want to be on the lake itself. So bring levelers, no matter what type of rig you're in, you will absolutely need them. Now there is just flat desert outside of the lake area. But again, if you want to be on the lake, don't forget to pack those levelers. Something you should know about this area of Alamo Lake is there are spiders, y'all. There are a lot of spiders. They move quick, they are gross, they are brown, and they are all over. So if you have an intense fear of spiders, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. I actually killed a huge black spider this morning too. It was not a black widow. Um, but it was really gross and they kind of get under everything. So yeah, if you don't like spiders, which I don't like spiders either, but these are pretty harmless. Uh, they move fast and they're obviously very afraid of humans, but something to absolutely note about this area. Like I said, Alamo Lake is a tremendous kayaking lake. It's normally pretty calm and pretty still. I've also seen a lot of small bass boats and fishing boats. I've seen like one pontoon and a couple of speed boats. I'd say that the best, most efficient spot to take a boat out here is on the boat ramp from the state park. It can be kind of difficult to launch your boat from this land over here. I've seen a lot of people attempt to do it and struggle and fail but it is very possible and I did talk to a local fisherman who said that the fish bite pretty frequently if you are into fishing. Like I was talking about earlier the tide does rise so do not park right on the shore. Um, <laughs> you don't want to end up under water. Um, furthermore, the water is pretty muddy and dirty here, um, but again, it's serving that purpose of stopping the sediment from flowing into Lake Havasu, so although it's a great place for boating and kayaking and fishing, I would not recommend swimming in this water. Nothing will harm you, there's no harmful wildlife, but I mean, look at it, it's, it's pretty icky water. A few people have inquired as to the humidity and mosquitoes here at Alamo Lake, and I am happy to report that it is very dry. 
just like everywhere else in Arizona, and there are no mosquitoes right now at this time of year. Arizona only typically gets mosquitoes for a couple months during the summer, and even then, they're really not that bad considered uh, compared to the Midwest. So, also briefly, I'll show my little shade uh, thing that I made here. Well, the wind is is catching it right now, but I hung up my tapestries with these square magnets. And then, so now I have a little bit of shade and privacy. Ta-da! And I connected the tapestries with binder clips. And then it's nice and pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video about Alamo Lake. I hope that it was helpful to you, informative, or just fun. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you think you would camp here at Alamo Lake. And like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.